How can a homeowner pick which solar panel is ideal for their home? We're going to be answering this question in today's video. Let's get started. Hi everyone, Martina with Solar Time here, and for the past 13 years, I've been part of a solar family business. Over the years, I gained knowledge on every aspect of the industry and helped thousands of people go solar. This channel will focus on solar and storage facts. I want to provide you with reliable information in a nutshell. The goal is to save you time on researching unnecessary details so you, the future system owner, can install the most cost-effective and reliable system. Please watch the video, ask questions, give us some feedback, and subscribe. As a woman, many may think we can't do this, and I will prove you wrong. Today we're going to compare top 5 solar panels available in the US market. But before I start, I want to let you know that solar panel industry is currently flooded with many choices. In fact, there are over 300 solar panels manufacturers out there. Everyone has a perfect website, a ton of information, but most panels really do look pretty much the same. We're going to talk about top five most commonly sold in the market, but you have to know that if only you do your research based on the criteria we will talk about today, you will be absolutely fine picking something else. Moving on. There are a lot of different things we can look at when it comes to the specifications of a panel. I will not bore you with every little detail that makes no difference when deciding whether the panel is good or not. To make it simple, we're going to look at the main factors that you need to be aware of when deciding which panel is the best for you. Starting with the brand. Who makes the panel? How long have they been in business? Wattage and temperature coefficient, and this second one being really important, showing how the panel is performing in higher temperatures. We're going to talk efficiency, who makes the most dense solar panel and how much power can we fit into one square foot. We're going to talk about product and performance warranty and which one's more important. Degradation of a power output. This is the skeptical one for me, but it's worth mentioning. And lastly, we will figure out the pricing and decide which one has the fastest return on investment. I want to mention we are going to compare panels in similar wattage range to make it as fair as possible. So let's take a look at Silfab 380 Watts Elite Full Black. This panel made it to the list primary for its looks. I mean, it's a very good looking panel. If your main concern are the aesthetics, this is the one worth considering. Silfab is the youngest producer among those discussed today. They've been making their panels since 2010 on our continent, so you can consider them American-made. This panel is rated 380 watts in SDC and 285 watts in operating condition. Just a reminder, all panels are always rated in standard testing condition. This is 25 Celsius with a radiance of 1000 watts per square meter whereas some manufacturers will also test their panels in operating conditions which are more realistic considering higher temperatures of 45 Celsius and 800 watts of irradiance. This number will always be lower, but it'll represent a good response of a panel to heat. Its temperature coefficient rating is 0.377% for every Celsius that the panel is hotter than 25 degrees. For example, if temperature is 40 degrees, the difference between 40 and 25 is 15. So we will multiply 15 times negative 0.377% to get 5.6%. This means with temperature higher by 15 degrees, you can expect the max power output to be by 5.6% less than the rated power. This particular model's efficiency is 21.4%. Based on the size of this panel, one square foot of the module can generate 19.86 watts. Their product warranty is 12 years and can be extended to 25, and their production warranty is 30 years, one of the longest in the industry. Here I would like to point out that production warranty is just a fancy way to sell a product. In my opinion, product warranty is where your eyes should be focused on, not the production warranty. It's very easy for manufacturers to blame lower production on the environment, angles of the roof, or shading, so I would not focus on this one. 
Its degradation rate is half a percent of drop each year with guaranteed output of 85.1% at year 25. And finally, price-wise, this panel has a lower price tag than some of the other premium panels we will talk about today. So if you're comparing quotes with Panasonic or REC panels, this self-up one should definitely be on the lower end. Next on our list is Hanwha Qso, Q-Peak 405W Duo Black ML G10. Whew. <laughs> Those panels became very popular for its quantum technology that uses a reflective paste that is applied to the back of the solar cell and some sun rays that would otherwise pass through, the, pass through it and hit the shingles are reflected to the solar cell generating more energy. Hanwha Q cells have been in the solar business since 1999, so a little longer than Silfab. The model we're looking at today can achieve 405 watts in STC and 304 in operating conditions. Its temperature coefficient is rated at negative 0.34% per each Celsius that the panel is hotter than 25 degrees. This panel's efficiency rating is 20.6%, slightly lower than the Silfab panel. Now let me take a step back and explain how the efficiency of a panel really works because most people will believe when their sales reps tells you that the panel is more efficient so it'll give you more power. This is not the case. Same wattage panels, for example, 400 watt panel at 20% efficiency will produce the same amount of energy as 400 watt panel at 22% efficiency. One will just be slightly bigger in size. <laughs> so the higher efficiency, the denser the panel when it comes to the solar cell. That is it. So if you're working with extremely limited roof space, efficiency will play a bigger role. But if you have plenty of roof, efficiency does not have to be the deciding factor. And you can choose panels that are lower in efficiency and price and save yourself some money. So back to Q-cell panel. One square foot of this one will give you 19.16 watts of power, right? Their warranty is pretty standard at 25 year product as well as performance. The panel degradation rate is just like Cellfab, half a percent per year with 86% at year 25. And finally, price-wise, this is a very similar panel as Cellfab, as well as most standard panels. This is definitely a high quality panel with a reasonable price, so you should definitely consider one of those when making your decision. Next on, REC 410 Watt Alpha Pure Black. Now we're getting to the more premium brands, and this model will be on a similar level as Panasonic one, and I'll explain why later. In the past, I would also include LG Neon R among the highest quality panels. However, LG just made a statement as of February 22nd of this year that they were exiting the global solar industry. So we can't really look at those panels anymore. REC was started in 1996 in Norway, so they have a pretty good history as well. To be honest with you, any brand that has been in business of doing solar panels for over 15 years is a solid pick in my opinion. This panel wattage rating in standard condition is 410 watts and 312 in operating conditions. This panel efficiency is one of the top at 22.2%, with temperature coefficients being the lowest in today's comparison at negative 0.26% per any degree over 25 Celsius. This means this panel will work really well in hot climates. In this case, we can fit 20.6 watts into one square foot. Very impressive. Now that we're talking about premium options for panels, we also start to see additional warranty called labor warranty. REC offers 25 year product production as well as labor warranty for certified installers. Now this is a good addition considering REC states that they will pay a certified installer a fee to cover the cost of repair or replacement or will even refund the defective panels for 25 years. As far as degradation goes, this manufacturer promises 92% of power output at year 25. Very high. Now pricing. This will be your premium quote. It's a premium panel. REC panels will definitely be more expensive than Silfab or Qcell, but not as expensive as Panasonic or SunPower. Great aesthetics with premium warranty and performance. In my opinion, this is the best product for a reasonable price. Next on, Panasonic Evervault 410. 
I don't think I need to present the brand to anyone here. Panasonic has been part of the solar panel industry since 1975. They've been a big player in the industry with a premium product for a premium price. As of last year, Panasonic unfortunately stated that they will no longer produce their own panels, but rather outsource it to a third party manufacturer. Now, this does not mean that the panels will be any worse. After all, big name stands behind the brand. This model will hit 410 watts in standard testing conditions. However, their operating conditions are not listed on their data sheet. So we are unsure about those. The efficiency is as high as REC at 22.2%. And to be frank with you, data sheet of Panasonic Evervault as well as REC Alpha Pure is so similar, we're guessing that REC is the one who makes the Evervault panels for them. The temperature coefficient rating is identical as REC at negative 0.26% per Celsius degree. And their power density is 20.6 watts per square foot. Their warranty is also premium, 25-year product, performance, and labor for certified installers. And degradation rate is also very good at 92% of power output at year 25. Now, price-wise, this panel will cost you more specifically for the brand. So if this is what you're looking for, you can consider Panasonic. Production-wise, you can expect same results as the REC ones. All right, we made it to our last fifth pick. Yay! <laughs> the well-known sun power panels. At first, I didn't want to include them in our picks for the reason of them being rather an outlier and not very common, but I figured since a lot of homeowners get proposals from sun power, it is good to see how they play out compared to the other brands that we're talking about today. So sun power Maxion fifth generation. I specifically picked a 420 watt panel rather than the 410, just so we can compare all the other panels with the highest one from SunPower. So let's get right into it. SunPower has been in the solar industry since 1985, so they have a lot of experience when it comes to the panel production. Their Maxion panel reaches 420 watts in SDC. They don't provide operating condition ratings, so no data here. Efficiency rating is the highest of the panels today at 22.5%. Their temperature coefficient is at negative 0.29%, so slightly worse than REC and Panasonic. Now when we get to the density of this module, we get 20.9 watts per square foot. Their warranty is just like most premium panels at 25 years all across the board, along with a great degradation schedule at 92% of power output at year 25. So now you already know they come at a much higher price than any other panel in the industry. So this will be your highest bid of all the ones you'll be comparing. So the question is, which panel is ideal for you? Before I summarize it, I hope you enjoyed the content and info I prepared for you today. And if you did, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Next week, we will be talking about the best solar inverters in 2022. So make sure not to miss it. All right, let's sum it up. You can take a look at the table I prepared for you today, starting with the history of these companies. You can see that four out of five have a history of over 20 years manufacturing panels. Silfab has the shortest 12 years, but still pretty good. As far as the operating conditions and how these panels are affected by heat, REC and Panasonic have the best temperature coefficient at negative 0.26%, which is the lowest I've seen across all panel brands, not just the ones that we're talking about today. Next, looking at the efficiency and power density, meaning how many watts can we squeeze into one square foot. REC and Panasonic, as well as SunPower, have all over 20 watts in one square foot, with SunPower being slightly denser, which is consequently reflected in their efficiency. As far as the panel degradation goes, we have both Silfab and QCell warranted at 85 plus percent at year 25. REC, Panasonic, and SunPower all promise 92% output after 25 years. All of these numbers are great. When it comes to overall product warranty, it looks very similar to the degradation, with the first two being warranted for 25 years for product and performance. In our premium versions, you get additional 25 years of labor, which means on top of covering cost of the product, they will also cover the cost of labor. 
Lastly, price for some most important part. We're comparing here a 10 kilowatt system in state of Texas and our average price here is around $2.69 per watt. So for the first two, you can expect to pay around 27 up to $20,000. REC will cost you a bit more, maybe one to three more thousands. Panasonic will cross $3 per watt for sure. These panels are expensive, but SunPower will definitely beat the record. And you can expect the price to be around $35 to $38,000 for a 10 kilowatt system. This is all before any incentives. I think with all the details we covered today, you should be able to know what is most important for you when it comes to solar panels on your roof. Is it the looks, the efficiency, warranty, price, or a combination of a few factors? All of those five panels will produce amazing power on your roof. So whichever one you pick will be a good choice. And make sure you remember, if you're quoting systems for your home, the system size and design will determine the production of your panels, not the efficiency. Efficiency specifies how dense a panel is. That is it. Personally, I would install any of those panels on my roof. All these products are reliable, very high quality. Now the question is for you. What is important to you? And that question, I cannot answer. Let me know which one is your favorite, which one would you consider for your home, and I'll see you guys next week. And remember, the sun will never send you an electric bill.